Cardinal Philip Barbaran has been charged with failure to report a crime after a priest in his diocese admitted to sexually abusing young boys. Our correspondent Valerie Goriat is outside the court in Lyon for us. Well, the courtroom is packed. This is indeed a very important trial. Cardinal Barbarin is one of the most prominent figures in the French Roman Catholic Church. He was, in fact, uh, hinted as a possible uh, future pope. And he is here not alone, but with several former members of the Lyon Diocese, some of which have become bishops and archbishops. And so for the association of uh, alleged victims, La Parole Libérée, it is uh, um, already a kind of victory because the trial has already been postponed several times and they've managed finally to bring Cardinal Barbarin uh, to court. And for them, it's not just the trial of a few individuals, but the trial of a system itself, the church system, and uh, its uh, silence that has been reigning for years. Now, what is going on at the moment is that the defense uh, lawyers have spoken and said that the legal procedure was um, not receivable and are asking for its cancellation altogether on basically technical grounds. Of course, the lawyers of the alleged victims disagree and they are talking about the human impact of uh, the alleged sexual abuse uh, acts by uh, the Père Prénal who is uh, not here. There will be another trial later on this year. So um, altogether, it's important uh for the French Roman Catholic Church, but for the whole of the Roman Catholic Church in general. There have been other occurrences where bishops have had to step down in various European countries, um, uh, Germany, um, the Netherlands, Austria, but this is probably the most important case so far.